So first of all, I have to cover the gap. So I open this. Wait for a second. Very well. I set the name, I place the name in the center to make it in an orderly way. And then again, um, excuse me, I cancel it. I select the grids and then edit family. Actually, since it is related to the grids, I place it exactly in the center in this way. So I lock these and the others in KG. So I place the center of the circles on the center of the grids. Control S to say and then load the project in this way. All right. So right now it is more ordered as you can see. Save and then load. Override the existing version. Check this out. This time is they are displayed more neat, no more orderly. So you can control the size of the grids according to the scales. I mean here the size of the symbols are controlled based on the scales. However, the scale that I change influences on the size of the symbols here as you can see. But as you can see, I just have uh, defined some default values for the size of the symbols for each of the scales. And this could be very valuable for those who want to work based on some principles. I mean based on some standard principles. Anyway, this was the technique I wanted to tell you after that. Actually, I tried to exemplify some cases from Dynamo among my explanations as a kind of um, simple project sample in order to just get familiar with Dynamo and use it. So, I extend this to very well. Save. The first thing we're gonna work together is the, for example, renumbering and the settings of the numberings actually. For example, here I make a copy from 8 in this way, but the copied form is F2. While I don't want it to be F2, I make another copy and it is F3. So this is a kind of disaster. For example, here if I want to modify F4 to 5, then the error says the name is already entered. And if I want to fix this, it takes a long time and a kind of boring process. So, to solve this problem, I launched the Dynamo. So, wait for a second. Here, a new file. Note that here we're. Here, we just don't want to shoot Dynamo. I just want you to get familiar with Dynamo in your project and use it. But you can use the courses if you were interested, since it is one of the important tools. So, here in packages, search for a package. And then I search for the package of here. I want to search for ProRobeam package, which is used for the for the re renumbering of the uh, grid lines in the plan. Actually, ProRobeam is one of the best packages for renumbering the uh, grid line. So here I search for I type ProRobeam in this way. I search it and then. ProRobeam grids renumbering as you can see install latest version and then wait for it to be downloaded after getting it installed you can find it here in ProRobeam right here and then grids and divide by orientation and renumber I add two of them in this way these are called nodes actually packages I add one more here in this way I change it to manual mode then I save the f file I specify the path in courses Revit structure advanced files a new folder dynamo and then I specify the file name and for example renumber grids and then save in this way very well so as I have add these two I continue here as you know I want to renumber the grids so here from Revit and then selection subcategory and then I add categories 
to get all built-in categories in this way I open the categories to specify grids in this way after that I want to consider all of the grids which are in the project so I add all, all elements of category in this way save I click on run to get the grids yes it did work out well done watch the continue next video